so I tried to make a body scrubbing loofah out of a loofah I thought it would be better to make one completely organic and natural rather than buying the plastic one So you can pretty much tell very well enough that um, this is actually my first time doing this and it definitely wasn't going according to plan. So apparently this is actually a very easy process. You just remove the outer peel of the loofah and you remove the seeds from it and what you are left with is this crop like the fibrous interior portion of the loofah and you just wash it to get rid of all the dust and that's it you can start using it. But as I said, it wasn't actually going according to plan for me. When I saw it on YouTube on how to make this crop out of the loofah, it showed like the same steps as I'm telling you, the basic steps, getting rid of the peel, getting out the fibrous interior, removing the seeds and that's it. But the way the lady was doing in the video, she actually is like, she does it every day because she grows loofah to make crops and other things out of it. She is used to it. I'm not. And it felt so easy, look, like seeing the video, that I thought it was really easy. Just cut it off, get rid of the seeds. Even yesterday when I saw another video, it was pretty similar. Just cut it, get rid of the seeds. And it, it showed, it was so easy, it seemed so easy. But I literally had to pick every single seed out. And later I actually had to take help from my mother. Because... I actually was doing it pretty much wrong. She told that it needs to be kept in water, dipped in water first before removing the outer peel. And honestly, it was easy to remove the peel, really easy to remove the peel once it was dipped in water.
once I got rid of the peel and the seeds, I um, cut this interior, this first part in two halves and also like cut them open so that they can be laid flat and then tied a rope, like not basically a rope but a thick thread um, to just make it easy to use it and also to hang it somewhere rather than just keeping it on the ground or in some container.
So I actually got a lot of seeds from the Lifa and as they are actually climbers, I actually was told not to plant them in our garden because um, once they start growing, they'll be all over the place. But I didn't listen to what my parents said and I uh, put a few seeds in three of the planters. They still haven't sprouted. but. Yeah, I don't know what will happen when they actually do sprout, but it will be fun to see.